Chapter 8 of Puss in Boots, Jr. and the Good Gray Horse. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Puss in Boots, Jr. and the Good Gray Horse by David Corey. A Jolly Gallop. Well, 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 cried Puss, Jr. to himself as he pulled in his good gray horse after leaving the little red schoolhouse far behind. It was lucky for me that Georgie Porgy happened to come my way. Otherwise, how would I have been able to return the bicycle to the innkeeper? And after that, he walked his horse until he came to a stream, on the banks of which stood an old mill. The mill pond was rimmed with overhanging willow trees, and the water trickled over the dam with a soft, gurgling noise. Through the sluice way, the water ran in a swift stream, turning the old wheel around and around. Puss dismounted, and after his horse had taken a drink, he cropped the fresh green grass, while Puss lay down in the shade. Margaret wrote a letter, sealed it with her finger, threw it in the dam for the dusty miller. Dusty was his coat, dusty was the siller, dusty was the kiss from the dusty miller. If I had my pockets full of gold and siller, I would give it all to my dusty miller. Goodness me! Puss must have fallen asleep in the shade of the old willow tree. It was a sleepy place, and the water trickling over the dam made one dream of silver fishes. Puss rubbed his eyes and listened. If I had my pockets full of gold and siller, I would give it all to my dusty miller. Would you really? asked Puss, looking up at a pretty girl leaning against a tree close by. It was she who had sung this little song, you see. Oh, dear me! I thought I was all alone, she sighed. So did I, said Puss, until you woke me. Were you asleep? asked the pretty girl. Asleep and dreaming, answered our small hero. So was I, I mean I was dreaming, said the pretty girl in a low voice. Yonder stands my good gray horse. Would you like to ride with me? asked Puss. Yes, indeed, replied the girl quickly. Take me for a jolly gallop and the next minute she and Puss Jr. were racing down the road. End of chapter 8. Recording by Valentina Vicelli.